I'm Carolyn Prasuti with the VOA Special English Education Report. The Intel Science Talent Search is the top science competition for high school students in the United States. The 40 finalists were honored in Washington in March. They met with scientists and politicians. President Obama welcomed them to the White House. These 40 students were selected from almost 2,000 contestants nationwide. They had to present original research to be judged by professional scientists. The students showed their research projects on large posters. The winners were announced March 15th. Wendy Hawkins is executive director of the Intel Foundation. She says the 40 finalists represented excellence across many areas of science. Their projects are deep and rich and insightful. Selena Lee is from Fair Oaks, California. She wanted to find a more effective treatment for liver cancer. She began her research four years ago. A scientist at the University of California, Davis, taught her how to design and do experimental work in the laboratory. She says, I researched a new approach to targeting liver cancer by basically starving the liver cancer cells to death while leaving the normal cells unaffected. And to go one step further, I blocked a survival pathway to make the treatment more effective. Ms. Lee placed fifth in the Intel Science Talent Search and was awarded $30,000. Scott Boisvert lives near Phoenix, Arizona. He began using a laboratory at the University of Arizona at the age of 14. Over four years, he completed a project studying a fungus linked to the decrease in amphibians around the world. He was trying to find out if different chemicals and substances in the water could kill the fungus. He collected and tested water samples across Arizona. He says, my results were able to identify a list of chemicals that were significant in the growth and in the movement of the fungus. He placed 10th in the Intel competition and was awarded $20,000. Evan O'Dorney of Danville, California won the top award of $100,000 in this year's Intel Science Talent Search. For his mathematical project, he compared two ways to estimate the square root of an integer, a number with no fractional parts. Wendy Hawkins at the Intel Foundation says these young people represent the next generation of scientists who will help shape America's future. For VOA Special English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.